Hello, my most amazing artists. Welcome to Painting 101 in Ms. Q's art room. Last week, if you were not with us, we worked on our line drawings. We learned about all different kinds of line, zigzags, wavy, curly, swirly, horizontal, vertical, diagonal, all different kinds of lines. We used oil pastels to make those lines, which is an important part to the magic that you're about to see happen today when we paint. So when we paint, we just learned about Roy G. Biv and the rainbow order. So to, in order to make that rainbow happen, I need water to make this kind of paint work. They are called tempera cakes. No, it's not the kind of cake you eat. These would be disgusting. Please do not eat these tempera cakes. Okay, so what you're about to see me do is dip my paintbrush in the water, and if it starts to drip that water, I'm going to wipe it on the lip. No, not my lip, silly. The lip is the edge of the bowl. Ooh, ooh, oh, oh, I'm not wiping it. That is tapping. I never, ever want to see that again, Miss Q. What happens when you tap it like that? Not only does it hurt Mr. Paintbrush, but it also gets water all over the table, your paper, your neighbor, your neighbor's paper. So instead, dip if it starts to drip wipe it on the lip no not these lips after i wipe my brush i am going to dab onto mr dirty old spongebob yes we have a class pet spongebob who sits in the other side of your paint bowl so after you dip it starts to drip you wipe it on dirty old spongebob and you're good to go take a little dance in the paint now the more you swirl your brush around in that paint it's going to make a brighter or darker color the less you swirl it around, the less paint you're going to have on your brush. So if I don't think that my red is quite dark enough, maybe I want to go back and dance a little bit more in that red paint. Remember, we are doing Roy G. Biv order like the rainbow, so red comes first. And the tempera cakes, the paint, is already in that order to help me out. So notice that in between my red and my orange, I washed my brush. I swirled that brush around in the water before I went and danced around in the orange. Notice how nicely I was dancing, not smashing my paintbrush down and giving it a bad hair day. Oh my goodness, I am so sorry, Mr. Paintbrush. I will never do that again. Please make sure that you have your paintbrush with a good hair day, which means that the tip of that paintbrush is nice and pointy, never with the hairs all out and about. You want to make sure you have a nice point on your paintbrush and keep it nice and wet. Now, you don't want too much water, but you do want to have enough so that if it starts to get scratchy and you see that there's not paint that's coming off on the paper in a nice smooth line, you are going to need some more water. That's your paintbrush saying it's thirsty and it needs water. All right, so then I really important that before I go to my next color, I danced around in the water, dabbed it off on dirty old SpongeBob, and then went and danced around in my next color in the rainbow, which is yellow. Remember, the longer I dance around, the brighter color I'll get. Now, I am painting over my yellow, dip, 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 dance, 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 swirl, 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 never, never, ever scooting around, around on the behind of the paintbrush. I always want to see your paintbrush dancing like a ballerina on the tippy toes. Never, ever seeing that ballerina paintbrush scooting around on its bottom because nobody wants to go to the booty scooting ballet. So please always make sure that your paintbrush is having a great hair day and always dancing around on those ballerina tippy toes. And always, always wash your paintbrush in between colors. If you need to, you can stand while you paint. Just make sure you stand behind your pushed in chair. Yes, some is gonna get on the table and that's okay. Just be a little bit careful. We'll make sure we clean it up after. But before we clean up, we're gonna bring our painting to the drying rack. Oh no, I was only holding it with one hand. I wanna make sure I hold it with two hands and put it on the bottom shelf. Yep, that's yes, right. Caitlin. Now let's see Caitlin do it. Okay, so is your name on that painting? Is it on the back? Um yeah, okay, good. So now you're going to hold it like a pizza with two hands, like you have the most important pizza ever. You're going to make sure your chair is pushed in. You're going to carefully 
walk it to the drying rack. Now when we use the drying rack, you want to fill it from the bottom to the top. So there's two different drying racks. Caitlin's going to the small one, which is just fine. You want to make sure that you get that painting onto its own level without touching any of those bars. Carefully slide it in. We can fit two on each level. So it's not a good idea to put your painting like that because then you're taking up a whole shelf to yourself. So put it on one just like that. All right, Caitlin, let's try to take it to the other one. Take your painting out. Okay, let's bring it to the other one. Let's start it at the bottom. Slide it into your own shelf. This time you can have your own shelf. And fill it from the bottom to the top. No, there we go, the bottom. Very good. After you have your painting with your name on the drying rack, you're going to go back to your seat and clean your area using a sponge. Make sure you don't get that sponge any wetter than it already is. After you've cleaned your area, please make sure that your paintbrush gets put back where you found it. Make sure that it's clean before you put it there. Please be sure to make sure to follow Miss Q's specific cleanup directions. If she says to replace the water, walk very carefully with your water bowl, wash it out, dump it, rinse your sponge and squeeze it real good and then you're going to refill only one side of the bowl with not too much water put your paint brushes and sponge back in the other side turn off the water and carefully bring it back to your table. all right artists now it's time for the paintbrush oath before we get started today 